Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So let's get started. In Maya, there are many tools and commands. And the fast way of accessing tools and commands is the shelf. Each of these tabs are divided into certain principles. By default, we have got generals, curves, surfaces, polygons, deformation, animation, dynamics, rendering, and so on. All of these shelves contain a very common tool to work with. Like for example, if you want to create a cube, rather than going to create menu, I would simply choose a cube from here, from the polygon shelf. And you can see the cube is created. As I said, we'll get to know about different tools like, let's take a chamfer if you want to chamfer the vertex or if you want to extract you can simply choose this extract tool and the best thing in the shell is the custom shell in which we can set up our own shell where we can keep our own tools so that we can access very quickly what we can do is just go to any menu if I want to add or create new cache just press Ctrl plus Shift and left click on that and you can see I've got the create new cache icon here. Now I don't need to always go to create new cache options from the menu bar. Now I can just click on that option from here. If I think I no longer need them, I just right click on that and click delete and it's gone or you can simply press middle mouse button and click and drag onto the bin on the right side and it's gone on the left hand side we have got the arrows in this we have got the shelf editor just go into that and you have got the shelves you can edit your shelf which is available you can adjust the places or you can set up a lot of different areas by using a MEL or Python programming. It's the fair information you must know for now. Also we can set up a new shelf or you can just rename it. Let's name it uh, blue. And you can see our shelf is created naming blue. You can create as much as you can or you can simply delete them and there is a lot of things on Maya some people prefer to use and some people do not another important thing in a user interface is the panel menu these are known as panel menu because they exist in every panel that we see in our viewer if we just click spacebar to see a full view display you can set up a different options in a panel for individual display okay so let's get back to my perspective view if we start with the view menu everything we do within this view menu is all to do with the views like camera camera settings camera attribute editor shading menu it deals with how my objects in our scene is gonna be shaded like wireframe smooth shaded wireframe on shaded interactive shading we have the lighting menu if we choose to visualize anything within our scene using default lighting or we have placed any light within our scene or we choose to use selected light within our scene or use no lights show menu in a panel the word exactly says that what we want to show within our scene when the scene gets complicated it help us what we want to visualize within our scene like if you have some number of polygons 
turn off the polygon and there will be no polygons next comes the render menu this render is a viewport renderer of our scene we have got high quality renderer and the third one is a viewport renderer 2.0 as it is a real time rendering within our viewport in this we can see a transparency as well as a shadow and the last menu is the panel itself it determines what this panel is used for like for example if I go to orthographic and click on front the panel will show the front panel or if I go to shape layout and click on four views this panel will itself to four view layout all of this will be customized available in a windows menu you can just customize your views we normally work in a scene in a single perspective view there are many more a lot to do like hypergraph panels tear off tear off copy and you can edit your panel from the panel editor so that's all from the panel menu and the shelf editor if you want to know more on this software go ahead and subscribe to my channel given in the screen